parish devotion to the Virgin they revere. We adore La Guadalupe. Our Lady of Guadalupe holds a special place in the hearts of parishioners at Our Lady of Sorrows Church. She's someone that like guides me. For me, is like uh, my mother. On the eve of her feast day, thousands of her children visit the shrine, kneeling down in prayer, taking a picture, and mostly giving dozens of bouquets of roses. The church will be pretty much filled with flowers. Uh, through the night and through tomorrow. The reasons for those flowers date back to the story of the Lady of Guadalupe herself. In 1531, a Mexican convert named Juan Diego had a vision. This lady identified herself as, as uh, the mother of God. He said, go visit the bishop and uh, tell him I want a, a casita, a little a house, a shrine. But the bishop wanted proof of the apparition. So Juan Diego revisited the site of his vision. And there, in the cold and the ice, were roses. Not only were there roses growing, but the roses that were growing were from the bishop's hometown. Which was thousands of miles away in his native Spain. And in a cape, his tilma, Juan gathered the roses for the bishop and discovered an image of the Blessed Mother. It's an image seen throughout Our Lady of Sorrows in both shrines, pictures from the parishioners, and even t-shirts. Later in the night, the church celebrates the patroness of the Americas, beginning with a mass at 9 o'clock. Uh, and then at midnight, the mañanitas, these beautiful hymns to Our Lady, uh, which will go on through the night until the cops shut us down. It's a tradition that touches everyone involved. Give me the goosebumps when I'm listening to all the people singing. Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Angusser.